before you just take something out on the road and say it's going to work, yeah. you really have to test it. Mm -hmm. And the first year is always... The testing time. Yeah, right? it is. Yeah. And you see things like this year, you know, mm -hmm. the lady I teach with is asking me, well, why aren't you keeping all this material? I said, because I'm not going to use any of it next year. Wow. Okay. I said, I just, I don't, I know, you know, what I like and what I'm keeping. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I said, you know, we're chucking this stuff. Wow. Okay, but you learn. Oh, okay, because you're you you're so selecting some of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Because right. what we're doing, mm -hmm. we're at, we're boy, we've, we've hit some real home runs this year, and then there's a couple of lessons that have just been clinkers, where I've had to go back and just reteach, reteach. The map thing right now is really bugging me. That the, got, the kids. I've had them walk it, talk it, chalk it, on the board, in their heads, close their eyes. You know, the, all the finger things that I do, you know, mm -hmm. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Iceland, right. Denmark, Germany, <laughs> Portugal, Spain, France, oh, Italy, right. uh, you know, Switzerland, Austria, and then we could dance. Around. But it's just, it's just not getting in there, you know. So how frustrating is that? And mm -hmm. here's what part of it is. There is a growing number of students that think that just by showing up, they will magically be imbued with knowledge. Right. That there's no work involved. Right. And if there is work, they don't know how to do it. <laughs> so I am just fascinated. Just, I mean, it, the, it, it truly is, because everyone tells, you know, forever has told me, private schools are so great and everything else. Now that I'm teaching the product of private schools, I am so woefully disappointed in private schools in South Florida. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, they are ripping off the public. Hmm. Benjamin should be shot at school. Kids come out of Benjamin, all they can do is take multiple choice exams. Oh, right, right, right. That's, that's all they can do. That really is. Their <laughs> writing is very formulaic. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you ask them why you're writing this, they say, I've got an introduction and a conclusion, and I've got three examples. Okay, but you didn't tell me anything. Okay, I don't. I don't or understand. You, like, what's the purpose of and, this? And right? I'll say, yeah. yeah. Right, right, well, right, I asked right. you a why question, and you gave me like you know, an introduction, a conclusion, and, and three facts. Okay, I want more. And look, like. But I gave you the five things that I needed. Can you just give me an A minus? I got that one this week. Oh, that's you know I'll, I'll settle for a lower grade. Can you just give me an A minus. Well, I had like an eight out of twenty, and I and I just looked and I said, "You're not very good in math, are you?" <laughs> okay, <laughs> not really good. Right. And I said, "No, you're not good." I said, "Tell you what, if you redo it, I'll give you a chance for full credit." Right. Okay, but here's what you have to do. Right. So we sat down. I'm mm -hmm. literally, and no, I haven't seen it. So it's interesting. Anyway. Get to the point here. I've got to find a way to teach fucking the Republican form of government. To right. <laughs> Why not through contrast? Oh, that, uh, that'll happen. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm trying. The, the the basic difficulty is how do you give away something, and how do you have people value something that's given away? It's basically. Free ebooks, free posters, and free videos. That I, I don't need your answer today. I just that is yeah, the, that's the, the marketing way. Thing. That is, and that's what for a lot of websites that I get stuff sent to me every day. Those teacher sites like mm -hmm. eSchool, eSchool News, whatever that is. Right. That's their formula. And then they're really big on uh, you see the same names popping up all the time. So there's some guy named November that's doing the flip learning. Thing something he's really parlaying that side mm. into uh, so you know but he's just using that to come in and do workshops and buy sell his book basically and, well there's nothing wrong with that right I'm not but that. does that, that, is there right. actual change that's what I want to see I don't think his deal has changed <laughs> well I don't know Marzano thought he was something great too and then they're using that here mm -hmm. how's that working you know I it, it basically, oh, you're, you're down at Broward. I'm you don't Broward. Get the Marzano. Up here, it's they, all Marzano. They, they Their teachers Bro literally leaving the profession because of the, the new assessment test. Too. So, yeah. Wow. And my wife says it's crazy when you first implement. What is it? The Indianapolis effect. 
Yeah, you you just any sort of change. Any any change. Dim the lights. Right. right. Boom, scores go up. Taylor. Turn yeah. the lights up. Right. Scores go up. Right. So it move the desks around. Scores go up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Brand new pencil sharpener. Scores go up. So, but you know, so Marzano comes in, and all of a sudden you got this bump in scores, and then so now make it system wide. Yeah, but right. listen, when Jeb Bush came on eleven years ago, twelve years ago, it started the whole um, A plus. Well, the the whole F cap. Mm -hmm. The kids, they they know so little. No, I, I'm serious. Their background knowledge is just so you know, just it's a Swiss cheese. You don't know what kind of skills the kids are coming. With. Yeah. And it's to middle school. So it's just, it's not working. God, how are you sure your stuff's going to work with uh, the Dillard Zone? With the Dillard Zone? Yeah. I, I think the concept is the... Because hmm. I know what Licky would do. Licky would come in and just open the schools up, make them community centers, mm -hmm. and just... Bring the resources right. of the community and, and, and make the school such an integral part of the community that you know you you spend so much time there. You've got the support system there. You got free clinics set up there for the local people and stuff too. Is that already being done there in Dillard? In that yeah, that part of Fort Lauderdale. I know that part of Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. But that's an interesting point. Because because if, if you're really going to do that, if you're really going to make change in that. You know, are the teachers willing, or are they all getting in their cars and you know driving out to Coral Springs at night? Right. But I don't know, because yeah, that's they stick around long enough to make it a community center. Right. And then that takes money too. Mm -hmm. And security is always an issue, and all kinds of crazy things. Right. Custodians. Well, but but it's, but it's mm -hmm. worth doing. I just see the word transformation, yeah. and I'm saying, okay, I'm going to go and. Get in there at least by volunteering, and then just see what happens. I, mean, I, I, I hate to say this. I, I'm a white guy. You're a white that's guy, the problem. Yeah. You are. Yeah. Right. But that's the only place in Broward County where the school board has talked about transformation. We're going to reinvent public education. See, I think you'd be better off at you know, taking the old South Plantation Innovation Zone. Mm. And making a suggestion, right? I mean, honestly, because there you got, you know, there's that is such a nice part of plantation. Because I, I don't know what the demographics are like now, but the houses are really nice hmm. and, and well maintained. Wow! And what does the FCAP measure? How the houses are around the schools and how well maintained they are. <laughs> But if you want to, you know, just I think you'd have more success with taking something like that, and it already had a history, albeit 20 years ago, of, of a successful zone. It just, just start right out of the box, because man, I'll tell you, I taught at at um, Crystal Lake, and Steve, the kind of issues that that school had to deal with, they're not in the classroom issues. Right. It, it, you need to have a system-wide like change. Well, it's right. something going on at that school. There mm -hmm. are schools that have done phenomenal things. Pleasant City Elementary here was started by a lady named Peppers back in 2002. And she created that. It was and a she, public school? Public school, yep. Black part of town. Mm -hmm. Mean neighborhoods. Right. And she got the parents to buy in and say, we're breaking the cycle of violence right, right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... And she, she rocked and rolled, and then we had a uh, superintendent tried to move her for some reason. Yeah. Okay. And um, she had just gotten a check for $50,000 from Gary Player, the golfer. The golfer. Yeah. Good. And Gary, Player, um, Gary Player's son had been kind of looking for... Gary Player lives down here, part-time. Mm -hmm. um, Gary Player's son was looking for someone to invest in. He just happened to go and see kids wearing... Um, PC uniforms, beautiful uniforms, in the middle of a rough part of town. He was just kind of cruising, you know, in town for some reason, saw mm -hmm. some kids walking to school, slowed down and kind of watched, and saw an old lady on the railroad tracks waving the kids in, okay, and you could tell she was kind of scanning, so he saw this, 
and he just kind of sat and something he had about lunch this place. watching yeah watching just go in the middle of the day and he come and then he finally walks in and he says you know my father would like to give you fifty thousand dollars he's looking for something to invest in he thinks this is marvelous and you know he did work on googled found some background and stuff mm -hmm. they well and then coincidentally um art johnson asshole uh, superintendent, if there ever was one. Okay, mm -hmm. Dick had a hat. He went and moved Peppers to another school, some Royal Point CN or something, a few miles away. And um, the whole community said, "You can't do that. You don't understand. She's the heart and soul right. here. Right. You know, you're an idiot." He did it anyway. Gary Player came back and said, "I want my money back," because he presented it to the school board for that school. Right. And, he came back, and R. Johnson gave it to him because, he, and he wouldn't he move her back. Why? Because it's a fucking testosterone, testosterone issue. He's not know. going to. The decisions that are made in education. So what happened to the school? It's it's still it's there. It's lost its its culture. Well, it's been a couple of years since that principal's gone, and mm -hmm. I'm not sure what test scores are even turned out because I've been private well, now. But I mean, that's just as far as I wanted to hear. Well, it, I mean, it. it you, you also Great measure things. In education. Well, you measure things in other ways. Oh, the school ways. is very high achieving. Oh, the PC, by the way, on their uniforms, yeah. um, actually stood for Pinecrest because she went to Pinecrest and said, "What do you do with your old uniforms?" And Pinecrest said, "Well, old uniforms." Oh, you mean from their old their uniforms? uniforms. You, it, the uniforms, uniforms from, from their teams? No, from their their the kids wear uniforms. Right. Little skirt, yeah, the top and everything. Well, they've got them there. And they've got a bunch of used ones because the schools were renting them too. So Pinecrest gave it to them. So Pleasant City, Pinecrest, Crest. PCPC. Right. right. The kids just. Where did we start? Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Oh, so it, that's what caught Gary Players. That's sense. what caught oh, Right. That, wow, but a school that's here wearing it is in the uniforms. Middle of, and he know, you know, you're driving around, you know what the middle of Pleasant, Pleasant City, for God's sakes. Mm. You know? Right. So uh, out. 25th Street and um, Tamron Boulevard. Okay, just a horrible part of the world. So anyway, that's the story with that one. Okay. Well, that that was basically it. I'm